has air conditioning, power windows and door locks, AM FM cassette with four speakers, and much more. But it isn't an expensive luxury car. The Toyota Corolla. You can't buy a more impressive car for less. All right. <laughs> just, just pop it once. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's just start At the least. Uh, <laughs> oh, that thing go. fires right up. Hey, all you people! What's going on? I'm here with my buddy Vinny. He's diabetic. This was the same exact model Corolla that I did my driving school in. Oh, oh, the e-brake wasn't on, okay. Do you know how to drive an automatic car? Well, you push in the clutch and- No, you don't, there's no clutch! Wow, this steering is so, it's bringing back MEMS, man. Whoa, these brakes are so, bringing back some MEMS. Yeah, we're in his 1999 Toyota Corolla. What's the submodel? I think it's a CE. Otherwise known as the crappy edition. Yeah. Actually, they started writing out Celica. It all looks the fucking same. Back in the day, 99, this had a whopping 120 horsepower stock. It's all about power to weight ratio. Power to weight, power to weight, weight to power. It's easier to do weight to power though. Uh, weight to power is 20.08 to one. So that's pounds to horsepower. Whereas your GTI has 15.57. Um, 20 pounds per horsepower. Whereas, was it your Mustang that had nine to one? All right. We're gonna give it some juice here. Give it some juice. Oh, uh, listen to her, her purr. <laughs> <laughs> and that was 47. <laughs> that was flooring it. That was flooring it. <laughs> Wait, let's confirm, was your foot hitting the floor? No. It wasn't? No, it was very close, but I'm gonna have to do it again to make sure we floor it. I mean, at least the throttle response actually isn't that bad. I used the entire on-ramp yeah. while flooring it. Describing the steering, it feels like an elastic band, gently like tugs on the front of the car, side to side. Is that accurate? I would say that's pretty accurate. If you want to turn right, it's hard to describe. You it. tug on the elastic band, and it kind of like drags the front of the car in that direction. It's hard. It's very hard to describe it. It's something because it's it's the only thing I'm used to, and then other people get in it. It's like, well, how do you drive this? There's a lot of understeer, and then it like snaps too because you're pulling that elastic band mm -hmm. and then you get oversteer. It's so reliable you could practically weld the hood shut and drive it forever. The 99 Corolla. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's probably held together with an elastic band. It might be. The guy, the it guy, feels like it. The guy we bought it from, was, he said he's a mechanic, but you take that with a grain of salt. Like a not so handy mechanic. <laughs> Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Hit the bell. I'm gonna have a link down in the description to all my merch, my Amazon card gift. <laughs> I'm selling mugs, stickers, hats, shirts, pants. So what would you say that to give the viewers here a better taste of what it is to drive this car? How would you describe it? It's really one of those cars that doesn't excite you in any way. It's a car you get in to get you somewhere, and that's it. Yeah, it's like going to a fancy Italian place and just getting water and lettuce. Ooh, the dirty lettuce. It leaves. keeps you alive. It gets you from A to B. Yes. Which is what this car does. No frills, no thrills, no fun. We are pretty close to each other. Yeah, there's not a lot of room. When it, see, when I go to shift, because... You can't shift. <laughs> there's no shifting. Watch me. More room, pack a stack. More room up the back. Talk about the issues you've had with this car. Well, let's start first with where I got it from. I got it from a mechanic, kind of a backwoodsy kind of mechanic. It was nineteen hundred dollars with one hundred thirty-two thousand miles on it. That's not bad though for ninety-nine. Not bad. So the interior was an absolute disaster. Like it looks nicer because I put seat covers on it. I put floor mats down. One thing I noticed: there's no tachometer. Nope. That, that doesn't exist in this car. Why? Uh, you probably don't need it. So older cars, I mean, everything starts to wear out, like the rubber bushings and seals and all that junk. It sounds like your like sway bar bushings and stuff are starting to wear out a bit. So there are things that are probably 
either on their way out or starting to go. I just haven't. To be fair, this is New England, but right. Toyotas have for a long time had rust issues. Mm -hmm. Like the Tacomas, you know, that whole recall warranty thing. Well, my muffler was pretty much rotted through, like the underside or whatever. Yeah. There were several holes in it. The thing must have sounded like a little rally car, huh? Yeah. I'll, whenever I idled, like the when the heat shield would kind of start flapping. Do your best impression of how it sounded. <laughs> it sounded. You have to do the hand. <laughs> I was even more embarrassed to drive it than I already was. Fact. Fact. I think the longest I've driven it is a couple hours straight. You know, like two. Right. So I the, haven't gone these very seats far. are not very supportive. No, they're not. I and remember sitting in this thing for hours during driver's ed, and afterwards my bum hole would just be like, how do you even adjust? This? It's back all the way, by the way. Like, you can't raise or lower the seat? Nope. This is how it is. Tell me about your stereo system. Um, it's aftermarket. It's uh, the brand is Pioneer, and you know why it's called Pioneer? Why? I don't know. I was asking. You. It's better be good. Because they pioneered the. They they pioneered the. Nine and three. Nine and three. The steering response is, is instant. I feel like you're. I feel like you're being facetious. I'm being very facetious. Wow. There's a lot of brake travel. Well, that's why I just gotta fucking hit it. Smash that brake. Smash that like button! Wow, you re like this the brake travel is like this to even glide and stop. I know. You know. I mean this is your car, so. My car. I mean I I get into other people's cars and I have to really adjust. And you like how I SPAM! <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> the brakes are so so much more responsive. I feel like just everything in this car disconnects you from the road a little bit. The horsepower it has right now is probably six. Larger horses. Four medium-sized horses, one per cylinder. Yeah. I was behind you, and I, I saw some gray smoke coming out the back, so I think you're burning just a smidge of oil. Well, I took this to Valvoline or whatever, and they said this model engine burns through more oils than other model engines. Oh. Okay. I have to top off my oil every, like, two or three fillers. Oh, okay. But Let's see how this thing is on the highway. You said use the on-ramp to my advantage? Um, try to, yeah, because... I'm trying to turn, but, like, I'm just going straight. All right. Currently flooring it. All right. Nope, nope, he didn't. Jesus. Well, yeah. It's okay. It's all right. I know how to merge when, um, the car I'm driving actually accelerates. Nothing you can say about this car will offend me because I know everything about it. Oh, help me, please, I'll stop smoking, I'll stop drinking, I'll stop playing, Too bad Toyota doesn't make parachutes. The new Corolla, grounded in reliability. <laughs> like, it feels like the car is, like, struggling to go 65. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've gotten a ticket for doing 86 in this before. Woo! So. Woo! It drives. It gets you from A to B. A to B and nothing in between. A to B minus. It's just kind of like that. The sidewall and the tires aren't that um, stiff either, so. Yeah. When you take a turn, you, like, you turn, and it kind of leans into it and then starts going, you know? Yeah. Oh my god, my old Lexus used to be, like, way... You know, you remember my car. I remember Lexus. it. But you f***ing took that thing to the ringer. I beat the snot out of all my cars, though. Yeah. Don't worry, I've kicked this car before. Like, physically kicked it? Yeah. I've never actually done that to one of my cars, so you beat me there. I was mad at work, so I went out and f***ing sidekicked it. I think I was mad. Because everybody else is driving a nicer car than me. Well, I mean, that's what most people use these cars for, is to take their Just anger out on them. Yeah. You gotta really push it in order to downshift. It's a five-speed, it's inline four-cylinder engine, 1.8 liters, right? Yeah. 122 pound-feet of torque and 120 crank horsepower, 5,600 RPMs, but I can't tell you when we get to 5,600 RPMs because there's no tachometer. You'll feel it. You'll feel it. It'll, it'll, it'll really kick put right your in. Foot, really try and put Real, your foot Right down. now? Yeah. There it is. Well, so when it upshifts, I notice that it kind of like slams into gear a little bit. A little bit. The transmission isn't that great. No. You can really feel it shift. Yeah, yeah. And that's a that's a problem. Well, the transmissions but, have come so far yeah. uh, since like the year 2000. Yeah. This car actually has cruise control. I noticed that. That's pretty fancy. Oh, they're from Quebec. Oh, how's your health care? 
So the car is actually fairly quiet. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. You know, it, it has all the noises that you expect it would. There well, are quieter cars out there. There are louder cars out there. This is so such a middle of the road car. Fair enough. It's an average white toast with black coffee. Nice T-shirt. You drive a Toyota. I wish I drove a Toyota. I can make your wish come true. Impressive. And you do your own laundry, huh? I fluff it and I fold it. Uh. uh. But sometimes I just kind of like mess with people a little bit. So say if there's somebody in front of me in the left lane and I can't get around them and then somebody like shoots up on my ass and like tailgates me, I'll get over but I will sit so the car that went up behind me can only sit beside me. Yeah. And that's how I, that's how I have fun. Sounds like a great time. Everyone else is going to have a nicer car than you and to yeah. me I hate that because I feel like they're judging you. Just have, have a little fun. But you know what? Your car is working. Yeah, it works. And it's older than most cars on the road, too. It was probably made in 98. A lot of the model years are actually made the year before. Yeah, so this car is 20 years old. It's a tank, dude. It's a tank. Yeah, this thing's a tank, bro. I thought there were tracks on it at first, and then I realized that there were no tracks on it. Maybe I can drive and give my thoughts on it. Maybe, yeah. He's flying up on my six. Yeah, what a fuck. Of course, they're from Rhode Island. Look, look, this is no blinker what whatsoever. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I know. Oh shoot, you were gonna switch. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. If I could ever fucking talk. This is my channel! If I could get a word in age wise! <laughs> this car, once this car gets up to speed, it doesn't like this. You don't ahead. like this, like, yeah. It Cause, doesn't like change. Because then it has to It doesn't to get like back. any sort of change in velocity. Yeah. My car, whenever it accelerates, just one long groan. Yeah, that's about it. That's what it is. You know you can charge your Teslas here? Tesla? I didn't know they had a Z in the name. Is it a Z Tes or an S? It's an S. Tesla? Tesla? I, I just say Tesla because I'm from... I'm, I got an accent. What kind of accent? New England? I don't know. <laughs> Australian! Oh, uh, this seatbelt doesn't want to retract. Mm, this does not feel right. Hey, brethren! <laughs> is that a Geo? Or is that... Well, let's see. Prism, Chevy Prism. No, but they're the same exact thing. I'm pretty sure they're the same car. Can you tell which thing is not like the other by the time I finish this song? I saw this Craigslist ad for like a Hyundai Elantra, mm -hmm. uh, like a 2003. And it said, better than walking in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we should sell this car. <laughs> You'll be dry. As long as the power windows keep working. Yeah. Which, in these, have been... A little, little it's smooth iffy. enough. Well, we've had times where we've rolled down the back windows. Yeah. They didn't go back up. Seriously? Well, that, this is another thing that older cars, that it just, it, it gets brittle in the sun and just kind of yeah. dries up. Well, these right here, I've hit these so many times that it's just started to peel off. Because I have to fit my whole six foot one body in here. Your massive frame. Yeah, this is a worker's car, and this is what I can afford. If this person honks me, I swear to God. I'm not gonna honk. You gotta I'm yell. getting out. You have a yield. Throwing a GoPro at <laughs> All right. <laughs> floor it! My foot is on the floor. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just pulled my face right back. <laughs> we'll do um, a 0-60 to 60 time. Attempt to record the speedometer as Vinny power shifts. Oh shit. Ready? Uh, yeah, I want to definitely get like straight on the road before you floor it. Alright. Yep, and go for it! I think the standard version of this car, like the base version, came with a five-speed manual transmission. Mm -hmm. So maybe this was like a kind of haphazardly thrown together transmission. Probably. I mean, oh, actually, Toyota, Toyota was obsessed with quality yeah. at this point in time. So like, they're like, let's make something very, very reliable, but like kind of mediocre. It has a computer-controlled safety system, but it isn't an F-15 fighter.
It cost hundreds of millions of dollars to develop its technology. But it can be yours starting at around $13,000. Dual airbag standard. You can't buy a more impressive car for less. No. It's a 20 year old car and the transmission's working. Which is more than I can say for some other cars. Yes. Um, let's see, other features this car has. None. Let's see. <laughs> It has two front airbags, uh -huh. I think. It does. I haven't tested them yet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's test them right now. And it has available side airbags, Maybe. so don't be surprised if you feel safer in your 99 Corolla. I think airbags are... They're so passe. They're, They're so airbags. passe. airbags. They have these airbags. I'm gonna make a couple comments on the seats. Go for it. The seats. I can't believe you say that. <laughs> All right, anyway, they're like flat. They are so flat. Yeah, well, they have 20 years of ass in them. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like your mouth. I can't believe you would expose me like that. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Down. All right, so, fun facts. We did the, the calculations, and if we did a Hellcat engine swap in this Corolla, uh, <laughs> it would be 3.4 pounds to every horsepower that this car had. has. Has. All right, Vinny. Name some of your biggest pros about this car. It, it can take a beating. Plus, it gets pretty good miles to the gallon if you drive it responsibly enough. You know, I get about 29 to 30 for a 20-year-old. Average, right? Yeah, yeah. For a 20-year-old car, that's good. And the AC works. Those are the pros. Those All are the right, pros. All right, now for the cons. Everything else about the car. <laughs> it doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good. There's no no frills to this car. There's absolutely nothing of positive value outside of the three that I mentioned. It's a piece of shit, but it's my piece of shit. And I love it. I'm just kidding, I fucking hate this car. <laughs> <laughs>